Welcome to episode 42 of the tutorial series LiveWire 3 from scratch. In this episode, I want us to talk about authenticating our LiveWire application, in this case, our Laravel application using the Breeze Starter Kit. And in this case, we will choose the Breeze Starter Kit for LiveWire. What I need to mention about this starter kit is that it's built using Tailwind CSS. So if you are using Bootstrap, it might not be very helpful. But of course, because we are learning LiveWire, you can be able to look at whatever it is that you be created as um, the scaffolding. And then you can be able to implement that when now you are working with the Bootstrap to maybe create a custom authentication. So let us go ahead and look at it. Obviously, you can see on the top right, there is nothing here. And I want us to go ahead and install Breeze. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the command composer require Laravel Breeze and then hyphen hyphen dev. I'm going to hit enter. This command will install for us Breeze. Our installation is complete. And now I want us to go ahead and now um, install, or in this case, the scaffolding that we require. So in this case, I'm going to run the command PHP. Let me just move this a little bit higher such that you can be able to see better. I can also go ahead and clear the terminal. So let us run PHP artisan breeze then full colon install and now we are going to be asked what uh, version or in this case what flavor we want to install so in this case we can install blade with alpine we can inst install livewire vault the class api and then we can also install LiveWire Vault, the functional API. And I think this, the functional API is the one that we did have in one of the episodes, I believe episode 35. And that is the one that we will actually ultimately end up choosing. And then of course you have React, you have View, and then you have API only. So let us go ahead and choose. So what we are going to type here, we are going to type LiveWire-functional. So that is what I'm going to choose and that you choose for us the Vault Functional API. So LiveWire hyphen functional like that and I'm going to hit enter. It's asking if we support dark mode. I can just type in yes. Then if we want to use PHP unit or, or paste, I think we can choose paste. And then of course it will install for us the scaffolding so i would like to give it some time for it to finish the installation a lot has taken place in the background and we have been able to install live wire we have been able to install breeze and now we can be able to just run php at artisan migrate to create the database uh, columns but before we do that i would like to just modify in the env just change the name of our application so let me just i mean the name of the database such that it will create for us another database so in this case i'm going to call it live wire breeze so that is what i want to be the name of uh, the database so in this case I can go back here and just run PHP artisan migrate. And now it is uh, telling us that um, using these prompts that li LiveWire Breeze does not exist the database. And I want, us, I want it to create for us, so I'm going to just type in Y for yes. And now we have been able to do our migrations. So now if we are to check if we are to refresh this application of ours, you can see that now we have login and register and we can be able to go ahead and register because we do not have a user in the database. So here I'm going to have William and then the email William at example 
password.com and then a password and now you confirm the password after that i can click register and directly you can see i'm logged in that is my name and uh, here we have a nice dashboard obviously if i want to log out i'll click here but there is profile where if i click to the profile link i can be able to change my name i can be able to change my email i can also be able to change the password and on top of that it's possible for me to be able to delete the account so basically that is what breeze uh, brings for us and then of course we have the dashboard and logout so again of course once I log out, if we attempt to log in, again, you can see that we have also the place where we can be able to go if we have forgotten our password, such that an email will be, linked, will be sent to us, and so on and so forth. What I'm interested in is looking at whatever it is that has been created inside our views. So remember, inside resources, we usually have just one file at the beginning. So resources views, we usually just have one file which is usually welcome.blade and is the one that we are using here. Then every other file that has been created, it has actually been uh, created by the command for installation of uh, Vault. So you can see whatever it is that we have here. But what I want to just look at, I want, to, I want us to look at the Livewire uh, folder because these others are just blade files. So profile.blade, this one is just a blade file because you can even see it's just stored in the same level with welcome.blade.php. So it's just a blade file. And then of course the dashboard also in a similar fashion. But the files that are Livewire are these ones, the ones that we have in the Livewire folder. So I just want to just show you such that you can be able to see some of the things. Of course we have layout. And uh, this is what we have in our layout. And you can see this one is purely Vault. If you remember Vault, you can be able to see that this is exactly what we had when we were looking at Vault. And then, of course, so this is uh, the layout file. And then, of course, we have pages. We have confirm password. Also, this one you can see it is still um, Vault, the functional API. Of course, for these values, the rules, state, and layout, you can be able to just import them once. You can just say use, use a function, and then live wire, and then vault, like that. And then you can be able to import all of them. So you can be able to do something like this, layout, layout, and then state and then uh, rules like that if you want to maybe minimize on the number of lines that you have so basically something like this and i think we did mention when we were looking at that but if you can be able to look at how this is implemented you can also be able to implement your own authentication the custom authentication now using bootstrap because at the end of everything for these starter kits you will find that most of them they are actually custom made for people who are working with um like who are working with tailwind uh, css so basically that is what i wanted us to talk about in this tutorial episode subscribe comment uh like and you can also share thank you very much